Hey everyone, welcome to another painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay, so grab a brush, grab some paints, grab some models, paint along with me. Let's word the world of unpainted models together. Have a good time doing it. Yes. Exactly. Today I'm going to work on some more Cult Mechanica stuff. I finished the, uh, the robot guy from last week, which is this guy. He's over here. Look at him. He's all good and done. Good for battle reports. And I'm working on some other Cult Mechanica stuff, but today I'm going to work on the tech priest that goes with him. So he's not very far along. He's got his base coat done and we're going to paint the rest of the colors on him today. It'll be a lot of fun. Or at least as far as I can get in an hour. And uh, yeah, I'll talk about my life and and stuff and things are pretty good. I'm keeping busy, really busy unfortunately, but this week's been a good week for videos. I think by this point you should have had like two face-off episodes, a battle report, a miniature painting 101. So life's good, yeah. Let's get painting. Yes. And by the way, people, please go check out my Patreon campaign. Link in the description below. It's through my Patreon campaign that I'll be able to continue making uh, free content in the future because it's gotten to that real point where I really require the Patreon stuff to just, just help get, keep the uh, videos coming. But please go check it out and let's get painting. Yes. Hey everyone. So today I'll be working on this guy. Look at him. He's base coated in his bone colors. So that's good. And he fell off his stand. Grab the other stand then. So, yeah, today I'm going to work on him for the next hour or so and have a good time, talk about life. I'm just keeping real busy, keeping really busy. But uh, let's get started. So he's going to be, of course, called Mechanicus. Uh, he's, he's Metallica colored scheme, so I'm going to start on the reds now. Um, the two primary colors of him are, uh, well, the three colors of these models are typically bone, red and um, metal because they're of course metallic not metallica of course that'd be awesome it's like inner sin man all that stuff kind of losing my voice today but it's okay so i'm excited to have these guys painted up um yeah get my cult mechanicus going you know and as well as ad mech just ad mech in general because um I like painting models, and it's fun getting back into it and getting some things painted, you know, and getting rid of my painted, you know, getting rid of a lot of uh, boxes and stuff in my workshop because of the, um, the models I'm painting up, so it's been good. My dream is to one day have, like, all my unpainted models painted, which... I know to a lot of you seems like a complete pipe dream, which it probably is. It would have been if I kept my pace. Like January, I kicked butt as well as um, last. December, you know, last few months of last year, and January I really was doing well and keeping a good pace. And then of course, stuff happened. So my pace has been. Slow down greatly, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's these guys are really cool looking. I really like the look of Cult Mechanicus. So yeah, starting in this week's content, which you may have seen already, other than uh, Miniature Painting 101, every free video that I do will give credit to my Patreon subscribers, because I think it's really, it's time to give credit where credit's due. And it's through the Patreon, like, the, the funds I get from the Warp really, right now, fuel, they, they basically allow me to set aside time a week for the content for the Warp. But it really hasn't gotten close to that point where I can use extra funds from the Warp to allocate time for my free content. That's what's been basically happening lately is I just don't have time for the free content. And the thing is, because I've made so many videos in the past, uh, like 750 videos for free, if I don't make, unfortunately, it's, it's at that point where the majority of my views anyway are from older videos. Mostly like part ones, like Miniature Painting 101 part one, How to Play 40K part one, that kind of stuff. And so, 
I just don't have the time, unfortunately. Some weeks, this week I've had a lot, I've just been able to get some spare time going and, and get some stuff done, and it feels really good having the content this week. You guys will actually have like a full schedule of videos this week. But as I said, it's, it's partly in due, or very much in due to the Patreon funds that I get. I can actually do stuff, and I, I, I'm going to make a video this week. I, I'm going to start working on my gaming table, uh, the Citadel City Realm of Battle table, which I purchased using funds that I set aside from Patreon. So there you go. You can see the funds already really working in to help my content. So that's really nice. And what else is going to be red on this guy? Oh, that part. A lot of red. But uh, so I'm going to be giving credit where credit's due. So if you would really like to see your name at the ending of any of my videos, please go fund my Patreon campaign. And I have to ask, and I don't really mind asking anymore because I need to ask. It's getting to the point where you ask. Those who don't ask don't receive most cases these days. And I ask politely, and I don't blackmail my audience or anything. So that's, I can do it with, with dignity. You know, and yeah. I'd really like to get into a situation where I can kind of quit one of my other jobs and just do my one job and um, this. But we'll see. This has kind of become, it was originally supposed to be your goals, and it's going to, it's still going to be goal centric. I think, but different goals. Like, originally I wanted all my models painted by the summer, which won't happen anymore because I lost several months. But I can have them all done by the end of the year. You know, maybe. Um, that'd be cool. Let's see. Just trying to think of what should be red. Um, yeah, I should probably paint that red too. There's gonna be a lot of silvers in this guy, so the red right now is just to. It's gonna be the back color of all the like the backpack stuff. And, but yeah, it's gonna be goals. But it's also gonna be I'm, I'm trying to take this as the year of improvement. I'm trying to improve myself. In several ways. I'm, uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm trying to prove myself because what I find is when you, when you find someone that you love, you sometimes become complacent in life. And I did that. Like I wasn't, I was complacent with myself in a few ways. You know, not really my video content. I really worked hard on it. I still work very hard on my video content. But other things in my life, like I, since getting married, I didn't really gain that much weight, but I wasn't in the best shape, you know? I was at a weight that I'm like, you know what? I could probably lose 10 or 15 pounds and, and get better toned and it would be good. So one of the things I've really been doing, I've been really hard on myself for, is a sugar. I have a sweet tooth. And I have been intentionally really heavily cutting back on my, my processed sugar intake uh, since, you know, since uh, January and February, right? And I've actually lost. Now, I'm not doing like a weight loss vlog or anything like that because I really just don't want to. I'm uh, not really that comfortable constantly talking about my weight and stuff, but uh, it's cool. So uh, I've lost about 10 pounds, 15, almost 12, maybe 13 pounds, just over 10 pounds. Somewhere in the teens, probably, uh, maybe 12 or 13 pounds at most. But that's since February. And that's been pretty good. And I've not been, I think I've been good because I've been a little more active, which is nice. You know, I've, I've been a bit more active with my, my life. Every day I take Spock, my awesome dog, for a walk. We don't go for a very long walk because he's a miniature dachshund 
And I find that after like two or three blocks, he's pretty worn out because it's like for every step I take, he takes like 14. So, because he's a tiny little adorable dude. So uh, he gets tired. So I take him for as long as a walk as we can. And I'm slowly stretching it out. But um, little things like that. I'm not going on a binge diet or anything. I'm, I'm just trying to eat healthier. You know, I'm cutting back. Um, Brooke and I ate a lot of fast food together. We did. We ate a lot of fast food because we were both really busy individuals. And we found ourselves constantly eating fast food. So one of the things I've been doing is heavily cutting back on my fast food intake as well. On top of my sugar intake. I'm working out slightly at home. But uh, it's mostly just eating better. You know, I'm not in the worst shape, but I'm trying to just get into to better shape. I don't know if I'll, you know, like my, my buddy Cody Roo, uh, by the way, Cody Roo and Adam, you both missed spots. Yeah, right there. You missed a spot. So Cody Roo, you know, I'm really proud of Mr. Cody Roo. He has been like gung ho this, this year on losing weight and he's been doing a great job and, um, Yeah. You know, he's, uh, he's doing it and he's, he's great being a great example for those who want to lose weight, uh, just by being healthier, moving more. I think I've run out of bulk in the middle, which would be hilarious. Not bulk in the middle. Uh, no, iron, lead belcher. Now I have more lead belcher. I thought about a bunch when I started painting Necrons. There's the air. Um, yeah, a little bit more here. So... Yeah, it's been the year of improvement, and I'm trying, and that's what I'm, I'm going to do this year. I'm going to improve my videos, eventually. I'm trying to improve my life. That's the goal, because that's what I feel one should do after you have something that comes along and, and really mixes up your life. You really should get it back into gear, and don't worry. I'm, I'm not focusing on the negatives or the what's happened. And I'm, I'm trying to move forward in as best of a way possible. I'm trying to get myself in the best way financially. I'm trying to get my, the best shape physically. Um, emotionally, I'm pretty good, I think. Emotionally, I'm pretty good. You know, I had that one video, which was really hard to make, but I did it. And I feel good. I really do. Um, I've really gotten used to just being on my own. I haven't been on my own in a very long time. And I don't know what I'm doing right now with this metal because I was actually supposed to be shading the reds with Caraper Crimson and I skipped a couple steps. So I'm gonna stop in a second with this metallic, this uh, lead belcher and do a quick shade. I'm talking so much I distracting myself. Oops. I really like these, uh, as I said, these guys are awesome. And this week's painting tutorial, we was almost done, I just got to the basing, is a uh, cult mechanicus. Now he's a bit of black in him, like a bit of too much, I think I did a little bit too much black, but I think it turned out really cool. Cult mechanicus, um, what's it called? Uh, Catafron Battle Servitor. And this model was per was bought, he was sent to me as a gift by a really awesome guy named Josh. So Josh, once again, I can't thank you enough, Josh. He just sent it to me out of the goodness of his heart. He wanted me to have it for my, my army, and he did, and he's an awesome guy. And I really wish him the best of luck right now as well. Josh is an awesome guy. And that's it. I'm going to, one of the goals for my year is to build an even stronger relationship with my audience. And that means live shows are coming back. In fact, there'll probably be one this week already at this point. Um, they're going to come back because I really like to interact with you guys and girls. And time to give credit where credit's due. Like the, the Patreon people have been supporting me for months and months, and I have not really given them a lot of credit. So they're going to get full credit now on every video. Anyone that supports my videos gets, um, literally, it'll be credit in the credits. And it'll be at the end of this video, for example. So, that's going to be cool. And I'm, I'm happy to do that. Because it's where the, the, the credit is deserved. Um, 
what else? Yeah, I want to keep going. I want to keep going with my videos. I don't know what will happen to them in the long run because I'm gonna, I don't know what the future holds for me. But I'm going to keep trying. Keep trying, keep working hard. You know, I love making videos. And uh, I think that's still very apparent. I know my video production company is called Jaded Productions, but I'm by no means jaded in this. You know? So, I can't wait to keep going with stuff. And once I get my table, I'm going to do a vlog. I think I might do a, like a vlog on my... I was going to do a painting tutorial with my table, but I just said I might do it like a vlog. Painting vlog on my table because it's going to take a while. It's a bit of painting. It is a bit of painting for sure. So it's the uh, city table and it looks awesome. Like I want to get it painted up. Um, I could do a painting with Jay's. I could just take time away from models. I think maybe do that. Maybe we'll see. My goodness, that table looks awesome. Like, I want it so badly to, to start filming on it. So. Yeah. What else is new and exciting? Not much. Uh, I'm going to put an order to GW. I want those orc dice. They're so cool. And now, right now, I have to really be a little precautious when I'm painting for this at this time, like really at this moment, because of that wash. I don't want to bleed the colors together, and that's the risk I run when I um, skip a step by accident. It happens. I love these paint witches. I really do. That's why I'm glad I'm getting back into them because after an hour, you turn around and you have a model that is well on its way. You know, this thing was just um, primed, not primed, base coated with the, the dominant color of bone. So, and after this hour, we've only been painting for 15 minutes now. And look at this. He's looking pretty good. So the season of face-off is, is coming to an end. The tournament. Um, I also got to rearrange my videos. I really got to fix the way that my videos show. Yeah, I really got to do that sometime. But, um... But yeah, the season's face-off is coming to an end. Um, the finale will be next week. It's posted this week in the Warp. They get a one-week preview of the winner. I'm not going to say it was in the finals, in case you haven't seen this week's content yet. But uh, it was actually surprising. The finale was, was quite uh, good. I thought it was, it was, it was good. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a complete blowout. So, two very strong competitors in it. That's what I wanted. You know? Eventually I'm gonna to try to get that Gauskell Thraka supplement uh, army up and running. But to run it, you have to have a lot of HQs. And I, I don't have uh, Mad Dog Ratznik, so I'm gonna to have to order from GW because he's a direct order only in Canada. I'm pretty sure anywhere he is. But uh, maybe I'll get him a couple more things. I'm going to have to take a, a few minute break from this guy. Um, because by the time I've done the silvers, well, maybe I'll give the silvers a shading after this then. And then get the. Um, yeah, I'll 
I'll get the shading done and then I'll highlight up the reds. This is not exciting. Not much. I just work. Work a lot. Mother's Day was the other day. So I, uh, every year, my mother loves getting flowers, I think. She tells me she does, at least. So either she's just being a very nice mom or she doesn't get flowers very often. So every year I make sure to just order flowers. And I always do like a month in advance so that they arrive on Mother's Day. And I always mix up. I, luckily, I haven't saved which ones I ordered. So I always try to do a different bouquet each time. She's allergic to a couple of flowers, so I always avoid those. Being a good son, you know. Yeah. I'm going to sneeze in a second. <coughs> ah. Sneeze alert. What else? I saw Captain America. Civil War last week on opening day. It was cool. I saw a late show because I had to work that day, so I went after work. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I thought it was a good movie. Probably the best one thus far of the Captain Americas, except the, the, my biggest problem is that a couple of the characters really aren't necessary for the plots, but they just had them, you know, for all the cameos and stuff. Like, Spider-Man was really not that necessary to the plot, but they brought him in. Uh, even Ant-Man didn't have a lot to do with the, the movie, I'd argue, but it's okay. But yeah, it was good. Good movie. I recommend going to see it. Um, it would have been cool if the th Thor and the Hulk were in it. But of course, there's already too many people in it. But the um, question is, what side would they take? You know, would Banner have taken... Because uh, I guess Banner is closest to Scarlett Johansson and... Uh, sorry. In the movies, Banner is closest to Black Widow and Iron Man. So I'm guessing he would be on Team Iron Man. But imagine if Thor was on Team Captain America. He probably would, because he he's being a demigod. He wouldn't. He wouldn't uh, want to bow down to the humans. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a break. I think these are the the shading is still too wet, and it's bleeding into the silvers. Oops, and I missed a spot. <laughs> so, let's just wait a sec for the reds. I'm just going to fix up one part of the reds that I just need to clean up a little bit. earth shade in the meantime while all the other shades are dry. Yeah, clean up the uh, purity seal as well. Yeah, I should probably wait a minute. It's really too wet still. Well, I could probably paint. Yeah, I'll do a couple shades on areas that I can do right now. 
So yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit better with my money. You know, pay the bills, spend less. Because... It's time to just start doing this kind of stuff. When you go from two incomes to one income, things change. Things change. Muscle settled on oil. Probably more. Yeah. So I remember when I started painting Necrons, I bought like two or three things of non oil and lead belcher so that I could uh, paint a lot of Necrons, right? I still have a little bit more Necrons. I've, I've got a few more things recently, so I got to get back onto the Necrons. Maybe after this, I'll spend a week or two on Necrons after the uh, Mechanicus guys are done. Or I could do my Orcs. Like, I have so many options right now. That's kind of fun to just think about all the things I could paint. You know, I really should get back. I, I'm trying, but it's been hard because I'm trying to fit what I want into a day. And there's so many things in a day that I have to do and want to do, and it's hard. But So I do start with the important things. Every day, I wake up, have breakfast. Of course I wake up, otherwise I'm dead. That makes sense. So every day, I have breakfast, and I start the day with a walk, this Bach. I call it the Around the Block Spock Walk. So, that's a good day so far, starting. And usually after that, I have to go to work. Or I'd film for a little bit and then go to work. Most days, I work. I work six or seven days a week. Every week. And I'm doing it at least in the short term. Um, until all my credit cards are paid off. And I can drop my cost of living. Or maybe I'll keep doing it in a lot for a while and put this the extra money aside for a mortgage or something. Or maybe Patreon will take it off or my, the work will take off and I can just quit my other job. We'll see. Who knows what the future has in store. I'd really like to do an hour of painting a day. That would kind of be my, my goal, but it's hard some days. I'd like to do like an hour because then I could imagine if I did this painting which I every day, it's kind of like if I did this, but I get even more done because I'm not talking. I'm distracting myself. Um, yeah, imagine that, because I could get a lot of work done for painting. I'm also right now studying. I have a test coming up in a few months. for a certification for my, one of my jobs. Again, trying to improve myself, become certified, and thus improving my chances of a promotion. And if I get the promotion, I'm totally quitting my other job. But it's actually one of the conditions I would have to quit my other job. It would be a little more hours a week, not many more than what I'm currently doing, so it wouldn't be too bad. There, I painted most of the metallics. I just shaded them. Um, but I'm just letting the reds dry a little bit longer, which I think it's good now. I should probably be able to shade now, or sorry, highlight now. So I'll just quickly highlight up the reds and then let that dry. Continue on with the metallics. Yeah, we're about half an hour in. Now I'll take some, oops, wrong color. Uh, while I'm gonna take some Evil Sun Scarlet and highlight up the reds. I just got some paint on my hand, so I'm just gonna quickly get it off before continuing on. The cool thing, the, the cool thing about Cult Mechanicus is that the armies are actually really small model count. Like um, the fifteen hundred point army that I'm thinking of putting together for battle reports to start off with with my my Cult Mechanicus army, it only has like twenty models. Not even. 
and he has nine Cataphron Destroyers, two HQs, and six robots. Pretty sure that comes to like 1500. So, yeah, 17 models. Very low model count. Um, now, the question is will it actually be the most survivable? Maybe not. It'll be fun. It depends on what you face. Against like certain armies, it'll be pretty strong because it's like nine grav weapons. So it'll have some firepower. And like turn one, you can give your, your army like stealth and shrouded. Or stealth or shrouded plus. Uh, Like night fighting, so it's it'll keep you guys alive for turn one. I don't know. It's just a cool army. I'm not uh, that concerned with winning with them. I don't have to win with them. I could just have fun. They'd probably be quasi competitive, I think, depending on again which army you're facing. Problem is with like armies like Necrons, which I found is that they're just so survivable that if they go to cover, for example, if they are in cover, you can't really get them. Can't get them at all. Because they just, you know, go to ground and cover or just stay in cover through, you know, four or five of cover save, four up reanimation, three roll ones. Keeps them alive. Or they have an orb and they just pop the orb. As I said, they're, then they are still alive. And that many guys, it's just hard to blow off an objective, for example. That'll be cool. I'm excited. I think eventually I'll be facing them. I think my friend, uh, my buddy Dave, wants to film battle report sometime. We just haven't. Been, we've been on opposite schedules lately. He wants to. I think he has a recently painted up Cult Mechanicus army, or uh, Admech in general, and he wants to face it. So that'd be cool. I want to get that new, one of the new orc guys and uh, use him as a weird boy or a warped, but or weird boy, I guess, but uh, he's so expensive. So maybe one day, but it's hard to justify that cost these days. And it sucks giving up sugar because dollar drink days are back. It's my favorite time. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking good. So I'll let him dry for a second, and then we'll continue on with the metallics. That way we can get the uh, the silvers done. Even though I can just get the silvers done in this video, um, that's a pretty good amount of work for one day. An hour. I spend a second hour on him. After uh, this, he'll be done. And I'll have the squad, him and the two robots, completely done. And life will be good. Another thing, one less squad to paint. Yeah, I'm going to keep painting. I, I really like painting and. Uh, I just gotta get, I'm getting slowly but surely back into it. And that, the table's gonna be awesome. It's just gonna take a while to finish. Um, but uh, when it's done, it's gonna look awesome. <coughs> Sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice. And if I eventually lose it, I'm just gonna call it a day for the painting with Jay. But we're already at half an hour, so it's been a, it's been a good time. 
So yeah, my goals are still to, to get a lot of painting done this year. And I'll get as much done as I can. The year is not even half over yet. We're not, e we're not even in June. We're in May. So eventually I'll have to tackle all my orcs. I have a bunch of orcs that need to be painted. But I have such a large orc army that I've been kind of ignoring them, right? But I'm going to maybe get some uh, Burna Boys together. Um, paint a couple trucks. I think I have two or three trucks that I can paint. That'll be cool. Uh, a couple more Killicans. I might actually end up picking up one of those Star Collecting sets and then use the boys from the Star Collecting sets to convert to Burna Boys. And then I just get the extra mech and I don't have an extra Pain Boy. No, I have one pain boy, but he's on a motorcycle. I'm a knob squad, so he will actually be... Um, that'll be good. So it's a good box. The Star Collecting boxes are really awesome. I really like them. Great money saver. The York one's pretty good. 100 bucks, I think, gets you a squad of boys, squad of knobs. knobs another knob squad wouldn't hurt to have... Uh, I really should get one more squad of Gretchen. So, one more Grot squad. So, a Grot squad and a Star Collecting Orc set. And, I, and then, um, what's his name? Uh, Mad Dog. And I'd pretty much be golden. But I'm not really buying that many models at the moment because I am painting models. All right? And the goal is to paint significantly more than I buy. I kind of tell myself if I have painted, you know, three squads of, uh, or three boxes of stuff, I can buy like one, maybe, or maybe four boxes. After like three, every three or four boxes of stuff that I, I paint, I can replace that with one if I really need it. That way I keep going. Um, but for every, you know, one I buy, I'm painting four and... The end result, a lot less things to paint in the end. I'm going to take a break from War Machine and Hordes for a while because um, the only player who I play it with is my friend Andy. And on top of that, a new edition is coming soon. So, which hopefully that doesn't happen with 40k. But, um, oops. We'll have to see about that one. Maybe this summer. I have a new series of videos that I want to film. They're just kind of like short, bad joke videos where I just make puns. So I'm probably going to film those in sometime soon. So expect those in the near future. Good, look at him. He's coming along. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little excess. I have the excess paint. I'm putting it right back in the, in the paint pot. Cool. Then I'll reshade the areas that I didn't shade in the first time. And then maybe start in the, the gray liner wiring. Oh, I should have painted that as well. There's a little chain on his belt. To his gun, so I'll paint that quickly. I want to go to a Jays game this year. I want to go to another Jays game. It was so much fun to go to last year. I'm going to go it again this year. And share on the Jays. <laughs> what else right now? Yeah, I'll hit it with a shade. 
give it a moment to dry, and then I'll... Can I shade the feet? Yeah, it looks like it. I just want to make a few new videos. Different types. There's a lot of good movies coming out soon. Uh, obviously, Captain America just came out. X-Men comes out soon, which will be really good. You know, I hope so. Because it's an alternate timeline now because of the events of the last one. So I think it's really cool that they're doing that and kind of fixing it. Fixing all the mistakes they made. Um, and if it's anything near, you know, um, Days of Future Past, I think it'll be good. And then there'll probably be a Rogue cut. No, I'm kidding. Rogue isn't in it. Um, right, that's going to be good. Uh, what other movies am I really looking for? I didn't see Jungle Book. I really should have seen Jungle Book. I wanted to see it, but I didn't end up seeing it. Maybe I'll go see it sometime. I just go to the movies by myself, and I just watch movies. It's all good. Uh, this week, yesterday, I had a, a charity event. A charity bowling event. It was cool. I didn't bowl very well, but uh, I brought my own ball and shoes. That was kind of fun. Good. I should correct that. There we go. He's definitely looking mechanical. Coach Mechanicus. Where are we at now? 40 minutes. I'll probably call it soon. Because it's getting to the point now where I'm going to have to like wait for the shade. I may be able to start in the brass areas. Oh, I should have highlighted that purity seal as well. Good. So purity seal is done. And uh, yeah, the... You guys almost done. Like this is... After this, I probably have another 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, um, to get him up to my battle report standard, and then he will be good, and he'll be on the table, leading the robots, possibly into victory. Yeah, the only colors left to do really do are brass. And maybe I'll do a freehand, but I think I might do freehand. Maybe for miniature paint 101. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Right now there's freehand in the miniature paint 101 areas. And the freehand right now lately for the warp has been, because we're now in the 130s, has been camo patterns on vehicles. It's been a really fun series to make. Yeah. So let's paint some gray liner in the meantime. Then after the gray liner, depending on where the shade is done, maybe we'll do a quick highlight of the metallics and then the brass. Or I'll just call it because it's been a good day so far. You know, it's been a, look at this. He looks very good compared to where he was at earlier in this, you know, when I started today. And One, uh, one hour really makes a huge difference. It hasn't even been an hour for this guy.
So yeah, year of improvement. We'll see how it goes. You know? Because no better time. You know, now that it's just me, I can take some time needed just to focus on me. And what do I want in life? What do I need in life? What do I deserve? Let's get her done. I'm going to go to the concert series. It got announced uh, this week, or last week, the summer series got announced. Now, it's not very good. It's like the big 30th anniversary of the Peterborough Music Fest. And I thought there were going to be some big names. And there was one or two names that I even recognized. And I'm pretty good at music recognition. Like, there's an old Canadian alternative band from the 90s, I Mother Earth. But they're from this area, so it wasn't too hard to get them, I'm guessing. So they're going to be playing at Peterborough Music Fest. They'll be pretty good. I was more of an Our Lady Peace fan than I'm Mother Earth. They were frequently mistaken for each other. Um, Platinum Blonde, which is an old late 80s, early 90s, like, hit gla glam rock band from Canada. I'm like, oh, good. I was really happy to see Randy Bachman last year. But he's, he's, I'm, I would put him in a very different category than Platinum Blonde. Uh, the big name this year is probably the opener, uh, Serena Ryder. She sings that song, Stompa. You know, clap your hands, stomp your feet. So, I'll go see her. She's good. I've, I've seen her perform on TV live, and she actually can, she's pretty, she's good, decent. Mm-hmm. She's decent, so. But I wasn't, yeah, could have been better. Definitely could have been better. Good. Look at that. He is on his way. Oh, I should paint that one part as well. Let's break up the monotony. Look at that after. Maybe I'll do the brass as well while we're here and talking. Oh, yeah, and then the symbol. It's black on the left face. Top, or, yep. Left side of the face. But the right side of the symbol. Cool. And I'll clean it up later with some white. Oh, look at him. Oh, there's another symbol. But it's a free music series, so I really can't complain that much, right? But uh, it's one of the biggest things in Peterborough in the summer, is the Music Fest, so that'll be good. I'm going to take advantage of Peterborough in the summer. I really should go sightsee and do some trail walking. Maybe go... I really want to take up fishing. I just don't have the time, but I really want to take up fishing. Maybe that'll be one of my the things on my list I'll do this year. Take up fishing. Learn to catch my own food. Live off the land. Jay. Maybe I'll vlog it. Jay living off the land. And the old time I have to talk like that. Welcome to another Jay living off the land. Today I'm going to fish. I may not catch anything, but I'm going to go fishing. Two hours later. Man, I haven't caught anything. But I thought of stuff. Mm -mm. Fish. Gotta love fishing. All right, maybe brass. Yeah, I'll do some brass stuff right now. We'll get some brass done. And I think it's a little strappy after that. And he's pretty much done. Like, he's close. I need to just do when the shade is dry, which is not yet. It's close, but not yet dry. Uh, I'll do a light dry brush. Give it some texture back, and then... Uh,
Whoops. So, then we'll get her done. And it's just one model. I know it is just one model, but uh, as I said, the the model, the models on uh, for this particular army, you know, there are not that many models in the 1500 point army. So this guy represents a part of the squad that's like 270 points. So that'll be good to get them all done. And it's just a model, but at the end, it's one less model that I need to paint, and one more model that goes on my shelves and out of my workshop. The next army, I'll probably, I'll probably finish up my Necrons after my Cult Mechanicus stuff, and my Admag stuff, and then... Um, I wonder what that was. Oh well. Probably a box falling. Hmm. What else? Yeah, let's do some brass. Well, I don't really want to do the brass until the metallics are done, because I need to cut it in. Yeah, let's end here. I think it's been good. And we're done. Look at them. So we got some work done on them today. He was just bone earlier. So we got the reds, the silvers on the way, the gray liner, the one purity seal. Looking good. Let's end now. So that concludes another episode of Painting with Jay. I really hope you enjoyed it, got some work done yourself, enjoyed it, paint along. Maybe you've got a you know, model almost finished too, or a squad or whatever. Look at him. He'll be done before next week's episode, and another model left to be done. And then after I finish the squad of um, uh, Catafrons, another squad done. Call Mechanics is coming along and then I, I'll probably work on the HQ guy. So thank you as always for watching. Please go check out my Patreon campaign link in the description below. But most importantly, thank you for all the Patreon subscribers of last month. As you can see, they're right there. Giant list. Yep, they're, they're here. So thank you to all the Patreon subscribers as you can see here. And all the ones who chose not to even put their names into the list. So thank you everyone for supporting my Patreon campaign. Please link in the description below. Go check it out and be a part of it and be a supporter. It would be awesome. Thank you so much. Until next time, this is Jay saying.